Uh, this week, we learned that President Obama's oldest daughter, Malia, will be taking a gap year, which means she's working at the gap. Which oh. I think is fantastic. No, not really. But uh, she's going to take a gap year, which is like a year off before entering Harvard U University in 2017. I say good for her. Hold off on college. May I remind you of our last segment? Gap years are becoming a popular trend for millennials. So our in-house millennials, Joanna Osuchinski and Catherine Timpf, decided to investigate. And when I say investigate, I mean leave work and expense their lunch on the company. <laughs> more and more millennials are taking gap years before college. But what do the great Americans of Times Square really think about this trend? Cat hit the streets to find out. I, I have one who took a gap year already. What did she want to do? She taught skiing for a year, for the winter, and mm -hmm. babysat, which it's a nice gap. Mm -hmm. But you know, life comes and it pounds you, so it sure does. Do you think that you could shop at the gap every day for a year? No, no. not every day. No. Maybe no. twice. A lot of jeans. Yeah, too yeah. many jeans. I see you out here a lot. I feel like, are you, are you on like a gap year? No, I went straight from high school to college. I got a bachelor's degree and I went to Xavier for my master's. So I never stopped and I, I read and do more reading now than I ever did in college. So. Here you are today. <laughs> really excited about Trump? No. No? No? Just the hat. Just the hat? One of my granddaughters went to Europe. Okay, did she find herself? I don't know if she'll ever find us. I don't know if I will either. Well, I'm the naked cowboy telling you not to be no fool. I'm the naked cowboy. Hey, kids, stay in school. So the naked cowboy thinks it's a bad idea, but I'm still not convinced. My real question is, what are the fiscal implications of a gap year? To learn more, I turn to America's most trusted British businessman. The gap year. I want to talk about the, the fiscal responsibility or lack thereof of taking one. What are your thoughts? Well, let me tell you what I did. Okay. I got somebody else to pay for it. I did a gap year. Mm -hmm. I got somebody else to pay, namely the British Peace Corps. I'm going to write that down. I got it done for free. Mm. But if you fast forward to today and you ask how would somebody afford a gap year now, the answer is that it's almost unaffordable unless mom and dad have got a lot of money. If I were to hypothetically want a break, like take a year off, would you hypothetically um, fund that for me? No. <laughs> Why? I did say I need a rate of return. What would be the rate of return to me financially of investing in you for a gap year? I mean, I'd pay you back. You would? May maybe. What security would you offer on this loan? Security? Yes. Um, you have a car, a house, savings? I don't. I have nothing. So you can't pay me back? Um, I, I could uh, tweet about you. Not good enough. No, I have a lot of followers. I don't care. So Stuart was no help in funding my own gap year, but that's what credit cards are for. And in no time, Kat and I were off. Okay. You have everything? Totally, totally do. All right, All right. you getting the Uber? Yeah. All right, going? All right, go. Oh, geez. The fare, it's three times the normal price surge what? pricing. Oh, man. Do you All right, you know, if you don't want to do this, I have my dad's password to Netflix. We can do that. Teen Mom. Oh, yeah, that's Jack a good Nerd. idea. Yeah. Just, Forget yeah, it. Yeah, totally. Nicely done, you all. You know, it's always interesting. There's a 50% chance every man on the street interview will feature the naked cowboy. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Did he ask for your phone numbers? No. <laughs> oh. Oh, Am I going to be okay? <laughs> well, I guess we learned something else about the naked cowboy. All right. <laughs> He's probably married and has kids. <laughs>